this is like the last one that'll actually fit into this tablet. So when this dies, too darn bad. Hello, once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. I told you guys yesterday that I was going to be getting on here in order to actually do a tablet slash phone review for you folks. Um, I know that this has been kind of a topic in regard to speed dropping. If you haven't seen my how-to on speed dropping, I would strongly suggest you go and check that out. Um, my daughter hit her head on the bunk bed. Are you okay? Okay. Brian, don't I... <laughs> don't touch my stuff. Turn them out. The two-year-old has now claimed the one tablet that I was going to review. So what I've got here in front of me, which is a newer tablet, uh, that's the one that's actually like casting for you guys. Uh, this is an NVIDIA Shield. This is the ori original Shield. Now there is no hardware difference between the Shield and the Shield K1. They are exactly the same specifications. The only difference you're going to find is that the original Shield comes with a charger and it has a stylus. Um, outside of that, they are identical systems as far as specifications. Uh, by far, this is the device that I would recommend. If you guys are looking to pick up a new device, the NVIDIA Shield or the NVIDIA Shield K1 um, are the devices that are recommended. Uh, the other one that I have, my old device that I was playing with, is a Samsung S7. Uh, that's a telephone, for those of you that don't know. The touch input on that allows you to do, at best, a single finger drop. Doing a two finger drop on that thing is very finicky at, at best. Um, however, it, the gameplay on that is very smooth and it does actually last and charge at the same time, which is good. Uh, now, the other device that we are rocking... Uh, which is a 10-inch tablet that Marla quite often in, in the past, oh, I don't know, however many months we've been playing on. Uh, and we've quite enjoyed it, and it's worked very well. And that is the Sa Samsung Samsung Galaxy Tab S2. Uh, again, that's a 10-inch tablet. It's a speedy device. Uh, it does have a fair amount of battery life to it. Uh, doing a two-finger drop, thus to mean if you drop, put two fingers down and actually cycle through your troops. That works all right. Uh, when you go to do the actual three finger drop, uh, it becomes finicky. So it's kind of on again, off again. Uh, and I'm not sure how much of that is due to game updates and how much of that is due to the actual device. I think it has more to do with the game updates, however. Um, the difference in these, obviously, eight inch versus a 10 inch. I like the eight inch form factor, as does Marla, my wife. Uh, and I believe this, the, the NVIDIA, the NVIDIA Shield is actually a, a little bit of a, a, a more of a budget device. It's not as expensive as the Tab S2 because it's not as new. Um, so, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what I'm talking about in regard to the new attached. This is my little baby account, uh, which is over in Treefort, which is the entrance into uh eminent domain and outlaws so if you guys are looking to join an alliance i would strongly suggest you come and come and hang out with us we'd love to have you um let's just get rid of both of those now if you zoom right in here and i've been playing on this for a while so it, it is a little bit warm um however it still functions just flawlessly as you can see i've got you know a three finger drop going on there and all of my troops are just like that down right in a nice neat row and I haven't actually tested the limits to go further than that but I know that consistently I can go ahead and get uh, the three finger drop down and it works wonderfully uh, now as far as device performance I have seen zero lag uh, one of the other added I think benefits of this thing is that it does stream straight to twitch uh, and from twitch you are then able to go ahead and share all of your videos straight to YouTube. Um, so if you are looking to actually rebroadcast things, uh, this is a, an excellent device to have, excellent device to use. Um, what else can we really say about it? They are both, the maximum resolution on the 10 inch is 1080p, 
And the maximum resolution you're going to find on this 8 inch is actually 720p. Um, now that may have changed, but that's the last specs that I read. Oh hey, do you mind stopping that? I'm trying to do a video and you're shooting your mortar at me. There. Okay. Um, and as you can see, like, like I said, uh, the other thing, advantages of this, it's got a mini HDMI cable. Uh, it does actually come with 16 gigs of storage. That's internal storage. But it is expandable by a, by a micro SD card up to a maximum of, I was told, 256 gigs is the maximum you can stick in there and have be detected appropriately, um, which of course is nice. Let's see, maybe we'll focus. There, we can actually get paid there while we're doing our how-to or our review of these devices. Um, what else can we say about this thing? I am excited to actually get a micro SD card. Uh, I would like to get the streaming to go from the micro SD to the computer. Uh, the application that we've been using in the past has been AirServer, or AirServe, I believe it's called. Uh, it's a paid-for application, and I feel that it's uh, not as responsive as I would like. Got to do the speed rally. And we're going to wait another minute while my troops wander around and uh, hopefully don't all die. What are you guys up to? Battery life on this one uh, it seems to last pretty well all throughout the morning. Um, and that's with, you know, said two-year-old taking it. It doesn't get much rest when the two-year-old's awake. Um, oh, look, there's one more little tower right up there. And you can see that it is very smooth, uh, you know, while casting. There's been very minimal lag here, I think. Not that I've seen. And I've actually watched quite a few videos where people do experience lag in the middle of their attacks. Uh, it's quite frustrating. Uh, there is an OS difference as well. This one is running a, a, an operating system that is one behind, I believe. This one is Lollipop, and this one is Marshmallow. So if you're looking for the latest and the greatest as far as operating systems, uh, you're going to have to go with the, the, the Samsung S2, Tab S2. But here again, um, the NVIDIA Shield or Shield K1. That's what I'm recommending for Dominations. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have experience with an Apple device, uh, I'd love to hear from you down below as far as performance and maximum number of finger drops on and uh, your thoughts on it. Uh, be sure to keep your sticks on the ice and have a good time.